What's up, everybody? Um, so yesterday, Waves released their version 11 of the SoundGrid Studio. And this version is a big upgrade from their previous ones. I think the previous ones were been around since version 9. Um, and not only that, they release uh, ver version 11 um, update to the SoundGrid Studio and Studio Rack, but they also released a 16 channel version. You know, the, 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 the free one is the 8 channel. They released a 16 channel version, they released uh, 32 and 64. And um, once I review it further, this thing has a lot of basically the, 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 the core the, the core engine of LV1 in it. So as many of you know, I released a video last week um, up for uh, Allen and Heath SQ users um, to use the LV1 and the sound grid card as a way to bolster um, some of the uh, routability of the SQ series. Mm, I explained in that video, um, the way I like to do my buses is I, you know, I will have uh, stems um, from Oxus and I'd like to send it to the left and right master bus. Uh, well, the SQ doesn't let you do that. Uh, you can send it to the matrix, but you can't send it to the left, right master bus. And so, what I, so I use the LV1 to take all my aux stems and use that as my bus summing. And my, ins my uh, waves inserts are in there. And then I use the mix external in feature of the, of the uh, SQ to send that back into the left, right master bus. And everything's great, you know, at very low latency with the uh, sound grid ecosystem. Uh, however, the, the LV1 license is quite high, and if, if um, you're not using the LV1 as your main mixer, it's pretty steep, you know, so especially after your investment in the, the sound uh, at Allen and Heath SQ. Well, comes yesterday, here comes SoundGrid Studio, and so I just want to show you that you actually can just get the SoundGrid Studio and do the same thing that I was doing last week with the LV1 in the video that I posted. So the video will be posted in the link below if you want to see that, if you if you want to use LV1 for this. But if you if you haven't, and if you're an SQ user, I recommend you look into uh, harnessing the power of adding the SoundGrid Studio, the version 11, to integrate it into your SQ. So without further ado, sorry for the long intro, um, here's how you do that. So this is the SQ and first thing what I want to, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to set up my um, MIDI faders. So I, I pick a, a bank that I'm not using, and this bank, uh, well, that side has my DCAs. You know, I, I keep my DCAs in every bank, so that way they're consistent and they do spill. So, uh, but, okay, so let's say this bank E right here I'm not using, right? So I'll do setup, surface, and I choose DCA MIDI. And let's go find MIDI 1 and let's start populating this down. So like MIDI 1, drag it down, boom, like so. MIDI 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? So that gives you 16 channel of mid uh, faders because uh, the way most controllers work are they're in banks of eight and the LV1 and the SoundGrid Studios are in banks of 16. So 
let's prepare a 16 channel um, MIDI faders for these. Okay. Now, next we're going to go into the um, DAW control. So here's the DAW control. The DAW control settings that you need are uh, under mixers, it's the SQ series, MIDI channel 2, protocol is Mackie control for um, the wave stuff. And as far as uh, where, so basically what this does is, as far as protocol is, this software, this Allen and Heath DAW control software, translates the MIDI input from the SQ into whatever protocol that you specify under protocol. So if it's, if you're, if you're uh, it, under Reaper or Pro Tools, you know, you would go Huey, uh, but uh, under uh, Waves stuff, you use Mackie control. And as far as where you're receiving it, it can come from MIDI ports, which is, I'm currently right now, I'm hooking up USB into the computer. If you choose to use uh, Cat5, then you, you choose TCP IP and you specify the IP address of the console. Okay, but for today, we're going to choose MIDI ports, which is USB, MIDI over USB. Uh, as far as input port, uh, SQ MIDI out, out of the console. And then output port is SQ MIDI in, so you can send it back in so that the faders can, can also follow um, the Sound Grid Studio. Okay. Uh, next, we need to go into the, okay, so the Sound Grid, this is the uh, Sound Grid Studio setup page. And under controls, you would actually, you would choose under devices, you choose Mackie. Okay, Mackie control, and then there's that gear box, uh, the gear button. You would open that up, and that will show you these Mackie control surface options. And here's where you specify under device one, you want to choose DAW control, which is that that Allen Heath software um, uh, translator that that is running in the background. We choose MIDI one, and output port DAW control MIDI one. That gives you the first eight channels. Device two. DAW control MIDI 2, output port, DAW control MIDI 2. And that gives you all 16 channels, okay? And that's under Mackie control settings. So you look back under SoundGrid Studio, then controls will show green on, and that should be it. And then you route your audio in the patch, um, how, you know, you route, route it accordingly. If you're using SoundGrid card, you do that. If you're using USB, today I'm just using USB. Um, and as far as the mixer is concerned, you know, you, you do it any, any kind of way you want. Um, what I do is, um, I, th these are my four stereo. Okay, so right, right now, these are my four Stereo, SQ, SQ6 wide, SQ6 uh, slam, SQ6 low, and SQ6 amp. These are uh, my four stereo buses that I uh, have uh, from coming from the SQ, and they are routed into. Okay, so for example, the under route, the. Oh, actually, there you go. So the wide needs to go to. Group one and under aux, you well you know anyway you do you do it however you you'd like but I, I basically I I send it to an aux and under group and group aux these are my auxes and they're they're going to the mains and under mains um, this is my main bus right here and they're wrapping it you know it has my uh, main bus uh, plugins and they go back to the SQ after that. All right. All right. So now, after we're done with that, we 
we're done. Uh, the SQ should be talking, uh, as you can see right here. Let me go to the uh, this camera right here. The SQ and the let me pull up. Or maybe maybe you can see it like this. Okay. So the SQ is controlling the SoundGrid Studio, much like the other video that I made. Um, and it follows the banks. Select. So let me go to the SoundGrid Studio. If I hit select on the board, the selects follow. Mutes, mutes follow. Right now there's a little bit of a lag because this computer is also recording this video, running OBS. Um, so there you go. Select follow, the Pavels solos, follow, right? There you go. Now the applications for this, is many folds. You can use the SoundGrid Studio as channel extenders. So you can do, you know, the first 48 channels in, in the SQ and then any additional channels that, that comes in, you can just use the tie line to pass it onto SoundGrid Studio and then control it on this bank. You know, so you can actually mix 64 plus, you know, app actually up to like 88 channels, I think that's the OXA account, if you use the 64 channel version of SoundGrid Studio. All right, so uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if this helps you. Um, think of, you know, how, you know, let me know how you use it for your setup. You, you know, you can really configure it any way you like. This opens up so many possibilities. And uh, right now, it's on sale. So I think uh, the 32 channel is $79 or the 64 channel is only $99. So go grab it while you can. All right. Talk to you all later.